In today's video, I build a hot springs lava farm, have a difficult time building a factory in the nether, and a crazy little train that brings lava from the nether to the hot springs lava farm. And what should have been a relatively small project ended up taking far longer than it should because I made a huge mistake. Let's create. As usual, I did some off-camera work, clearing out a little bit of space behind the hotel and flattening an area ready for a small shed. I built a foundation from variations of tub blocks and then didn't record me building a little cabin to put our snowman friend in. But I did record me demolishing the snow farm, building a snow farm, inside the cabin, digging out a big area underneath the cabin's floor, killing the pillager who had a jukebox backpack that dropped his backpack when I killed him, building a room underneath the little cabin, adding water wheel speed controllers and connecting the systems together and then gathering a bunch of snow. I even recorded myself placing a bunch of snow, but then I didn't record myself placing a bunch of snow layers, bringing the entire area together and making it look very nice. I then went round replacing a bunch of the path blocks around the hotel with other diorite variants to make it blend with the snow a bit better and then back inside the hotel I decided to fix the interior floors and ceilings. I added ceilings in every single room as well as extending the floors and then I removed the ground floor floor in order to add a new floor out of spruce floor boards. Floor? Floor! floor. In terms of decorating the interior, I started with a rear entrance room, imagining that skiers coming down from the mountain would have very snowy boots and would need somewhere to take them off. I then added the fireplace into the little snug room, but then I realised I needed some tuff, and I didn't have any, so I had to go mining for tuff. After I'd been mining for tuff, I placed in the fire surround, some cabinets and shelves, a sofa and a coffee table, and even a little bench. And then I went back home to plant some flax seeds and some onions and tomatoes and cabbages, but we'll get into that later. Back in the hotel, I added another wall to create another room on the ground floor floor and then I decided to work on the workshop, removing the floor and replacing it completely and then adding a basement underneath. Back in the main room of the hotel I added some tables and chairs and then after all that hard work I needed a drink so I made a bar. And that brings us to now. Well I could play with interiors all day but unfortunately I haven't got time so I'm going to have to finish this building off bit by bit over the course of the next few episodes. But what we have got is this lovely little lounge, we've got a nice little leather armchair there, we've got a nice little coffee table, a nice fire and we've got in here a really Really big table with really big chairs and then we've got a little bar area over here we've got this room that i'm not really sure what it's going to be sort of an entrance type room if you're coming in from the back door and if you come in through the back door you're greeted with these cabinets and a nice photo of a creeper it's in the snow so it sort of goes you know coming back out of this little room and through these doors we've got our workshop which i've now put a decent floor in and we've also got a little basement area as well for more contraptions and things like that because don't forget this is going to be our home base we're going to have to have all sorts of create bits and bobs going on in order to, well, build all of the things we're going to need in this area. Upstairs is pretty bare. I've put some walls in and I've put some doors in where there are going to be bedrooms, but that's pretty much all I've done. But what I quite like is this little raised area here, which takes us into this cool little room, which I thought could have a nice little bar or lounge in it as well. And then this takes you up to the top floor, which has got absolutely nothing in it as well. It's got plenty of space. It's got a balcony over the floor below. Well, that's really about it. So there's still a whole bunch of work left to do in this building, but what what I've also done is outside, well, a bit. I've put some snow round, different variations of snow, as you can see on the floor here, a whole bunch of snow layers, and I've sort of changed this pathwork up a bit, so it's a little bit more snowy, and it comes round here, it comes up these little stairs here, and we've got this little cabin -y shed thing here with our snowman in, and our snowman standing above a create contraption, which basically compacts all of the snowballs into snow blocks. And I think having all of this snow round here really does make it all blend in nicely together, and I'm really happy with it all so far. But today's not about hotels it's about lava and we need lava because we need power and over in this area around here we're going to have a nice hot springs and a big old lava farm that's pulling lava out of the nether and i know what you're thinking why don't i just use this train to take lava from our lava farm over here that's got tons of lava in it already and i could do that and i am going to be using trains well that all just seems a bit boring oh hello chuck he's watching the farm speaking of farm we are now farming flax as well as cabbages tomatoes and onions and they're already starting to come through here in reasonable quantities and the reason i want flax is to make doormats look at these incredible doormats i love them and the reason for the other ingredients are basically so we can get into the farmer's delight mod a little bit later on am i going blind so this lava farm then it's going to be in the form of a hot spring so basically in this little nice flat area we've got here which i'm going to have to seriously landscape we're going to have some hot springs with a little cabin with a hole in it and that's going to go down underground and somewhere underground we're going to be having a portal that's going to be linking us into the nether with a little train running along it fetching us lots of lava in order to generate lots of oh geez it's going to be a big project but i really need to st get started with this terraforming so i guess it must be montage time wait 
wait, wait, wait. I've had an idea, peeps. I don't know if it's possible, but I've had an idea. Now, as you all know, the way I deforest areas is basically using the mechanical saw with a hand crank and then sit here and twiddle it until it all falls down. But I think I've got a better way. And for that, I'm going to need emeralds and a book. Hello, Mr. Vein Mining, sir. I would like to buy a book. Thank you very much. And I'm really hoping that I can put this book on my axe, which I can. That's incredible. But having an axe that's got vein mining on can be a bit of a problem in certain situations. So I'm going to make another one with no anvil. Oh, geez, my anvil. With mending, efficiency, and unbreaking. Nice. So back over here, I'm really hoping that this is going to enable me to just, yes, take down this structure very quickly. And chop down trees. Wow. Even faster than normal, it's instant. And there we go. I think that's the fastest I've ever deforested an area. Amazing. Right, anyway, on with this time lapse. Oh, it's so nice and toasty in this hot springs. Somewhat inspired by the Blue Lagoon hot springs in Reykjavik, Iceland. The next port of call is to add some sort of cabin up here on this little platform, dig a big hole in the ground inside of it, and then develop some sort of lava system that uses the nether. So plenty of work to do still. Before we start building this new cabin though, there's something I need to correct myself on from the last video. I said that the bottom of this ski hotel was made out of tough, but it's not, it's actually andesite. However, I have used the tough blocks inside which does contrast slightly against the andesite but i do like the andesite because it's almost got that sort of cold snowy feeling to it but for this next one we're going to be using tough now on this one i want to leave myself a little bit of space down the back here because we're going to be having a little train and whilst that train is mainly going to be living underground going in and out of the nether i thought it'd be cool to have it coming up and down here so that we can at least see it sometimes which really doesn't give us all that much space so i might have to dig out this hill a bit more so this cabin's going to have a relatively basic shape it's going to be relatively square with this little porch bit and then we're going to have a path that comes through these trees down here around this corner here and down towards our hotel at some point and just like the one downstairs it's going to have a bottom layer made of tough blocks just like that but before we start putting in the top floor i actually want to put the roof in and that's because i want to have this nice sort of gently sloped roof from the front to the back and here we go that's the basic roof shape in nice and sloped and that means under this little section here we've got this nice little bit that's outside that's got a roof on it and i'm sure that'll come in useful and again for the roof we're going to go with this for sales dark oak planks around the outside although that being said this is a more industrial building it should probably look more like roof felt now we've got these deep slate pillars blocks which we've used before which kind of work quite nicely for roofs although they do give a little bit overly contrasty slatted feeling but i want to see how they look from the front i think that looks about right actually for what we're going for so yeah we're just going to do these around the edge it's so easy to get these underneath ones in thank goodness for this jetpack and now it's time to use all of these frame blocks to cover this thing all in snow again i guess it's time to smash it all to bits and there we go that is the roof done all of the snow is in starting thinner at the top and getting getting nice and thick towards the bottom almost like it's hanging over the edge and underneath looks a total mess but we'll worry about that later one thing i do need to worry about now though is light otherwise we're going to get things in here that i don't want and one there that should help for now now i need to get rid of all this junk from the side and i suppose get some walls in 
Hmm. Well, I've tried a whole bunch of different things. What I really wanted was some sort of oak slatted blocks, but I can't really get anything like that. So I'm left with these andesite bars and these stark oak stairs. And I think that looks pretty good, to be honest with you. It looks quite industrial. It doesn't look too out of place. I'm not sure about these little windows and this bit of grate in the middle here because it kind of looks like a weird face. But apart from that, I quite like that. So I guess I just need to do the sides and this little porchway here. So in order to get this sort of half slab lip, what we need to do is put down half slabs. Not half slabs, just slabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half slabs. Put some of this stuff down onto that layer and then build it up the second layer with the frame blocks. Then put in your beam, but it all goes in the wrong way around. And then get your frame screwdriver and click it a couple of times until it goes the right way around. There we go. Lovely. I don't think we need that around the back because it's covered up by the frame block, so that's okay. I'm not sure whether to make this roof bit just tough blocks all the way up to the top, possibly. Kind of makes more sense. And now it all looks fine on the inside, apart from the snow and the frame blocks that haven't got any texture. And then we can just finish off these bits in here. And that looks absolutely fine from the outside there. Although I am tempted to just bring this thing across the whole thing. I think that would look better. Yeah, I prefer that the whole way across, but I don't like that little beam there now. Oh, geez, and I still don't really... Oh, I hate this little face thing that's going on here. It's horrible. Do you know what? I think something like that's just good enough for this. Some fake pipes that don't do anything. Some copycat panels. A little bit of this grill stuff. And some barrels kicking about. And that kind of works. Although I feel like this stone is way too smooth. There we go. It's a little bit more rough coming out of there now. It's starting to come together. Right, that's the inside tidied up and cleared up. We've got the roof all in. The beams are done. And the inside panels are done. We've got that big old water wheel at the front door. Which gives us this nice sort of vent look on the outside and all of the outside is pretty much tidied up as well but it's not time for lava just yet we've still got to put all of the things in here that we're going to need and we're going to have to dig a massive hole from where it's going to get the lava from right now it's time for some big old tanks that's going to contain all of this lava really this should be over on this side but everything else is on that side well they don't need to be massive massive they can be tall and skinny and then we can fit plenty in and now this room is really starting to come together we've got this lovely little gantry over our a hole that's in the floor we've got these big old fluid tanks four of them in total and we've got all of these metal girders underneath holding it all up although i do kind of feel like we're going to need a safety rail around this thing considering it's going to be full of lava and i'm pretty sure these andesite bars can do that for us there we go safe okay then over the top of our hole we're going to have this hose pulley and it's attached to a pipe which is attached to the wall which goes into this first tank and it's running along this girder here so it looks like it's got support now all i'm going to do is wind that down right to the bottom of this hole and that's as far down as it'll go for now and this is where we need to play pretend because this hose pulley is not going to be actually pulling any lava out of there at all it's just going to be dangling into some fake lava well it's going to be real lava but there's only going to be one layer of it the actual lava is going to be being pumped into these tanks from the back here from our train which is going to be going underground and into the nether to actually fetch the lava but before we build all that let's just have some fun with this crazy portable drill not that you can see the fun I'm having because it's pitch black. Grab some pretty rough and dirty looking deep slate blocks and a little bit of this flint as well. And we can do a little bit of making gradients down here using all of these variations, kind of like that. So now when we put our lava in, although I'm going to need more than one bucket's worth, and we wind the hose down the rest of the way, it's going to look something a little bit like that. All burnt and charred. Big pool of lava coming down from there. I like it. I need more lava. But there's no point in getting lava now because I'm pretty sure we'll find a ton of it in the nether. And speaking of nether, well, that's where we need to go next. And in order to get there, I'm going to be making a very cheeky little hole. I don't think we need to go down too far because don't forget our little train needs to be able to go off somewhere, get down there and come back again. It's probably going to go down here. Maybe maybe we could just put a tunnel in here. Or maybe we could just put the nether portal in a cave. Oh, well, there's an idea. I kind of wanted it going underground. Well, in order to get all this sorted out, it must be time for a montage. One of them ones where I talk my way through it, probably. So I started by digging a hole in the hill behind the cabin using the power drill. I removed the floor and walls to make it extra wide so I could add decoration and then added another portal at the back. I then decorated with frame blocks using variations of stone on the ceiling and walls and blending that into variations of diorite and snow near the entrance. I then shaped the front of the hole to make a snowy cave type entrance with more frame blocks, snow and snow layers. The next job was to widen the 
path next to the building and I added a tough wall along the side to separate it and then went back to Hill Valley to make some narrow gauge track, which I did using andesite slabs and iron nuggets. Back at the hot springs, I laid the track from the portal, but it needed a turning area, so I dug into the side of the hill and made a large room with space for the rail to turn around. I replaced the walls and ceiling with more variations of tough blocks and then added a pillar in the middle, throwing some stone variations in the floor to make it look a little less clean. And I finished that area off by adding some snow that was coming in from the entrance and then adding some snow along the wall, building up over the entrance. Then I watched the Vindicator freeze in the powdered snow. Once that was done, I went back into the cabin to add some smokestacks and campfires at the bottom of the lava hole to create steam. That just makes the whole thing look a little bit more interesting. Then back outside, I decided to work on the path, starting by adding some stairs leading up to the cabin with a few frame trapdoors and some dark oak around the edges, and then I laid the path down the hill with variations of diorite, using even more frame blocks for stairs and slabs, and then filling in with snow and snow layers to blend the whole thing in. I then went round adding dark oak fencing along each side with occasional lanterns to light the path. Back outside the cabin, I added in a train station and a small gantry with some pipes removing lava from the train when it comes out of the nether. And then on the inside of the cabin, just underground, I built a small working area to link all of the lava tanks with more pumps and then added some water wheels for power. And that brings us to now. Stop it! Well, that's the overworld side of things completely done. With a couple of exceptions. We need to make this fan spin because at the moment it's very stationary. We obviously need a train to actually be going... In oh, jeez, my frame blocks are not loaded in again. That's better. As I was saying, we need a train to actually go into the nether to get our lava for us. And judging by the crazy amount of steam that's accumulating in the ceiling, we could probably do with a chimney or at least a vent or something. But we'll worry about that later. Right now, I want to go to bed. Actually, before I want to go to bed, I want to see what this place looks like. Wow, look at that. Hey, now don't start that again. Sorry. Right, anyway, we need to go into the nether and make sure everything's actually going to connect because I haven't actually been through this portal yet and I've no idea what we're going to find on the other side. But we need a massive lava lake. <gasps> oh, jeez. Uh, well, that was weird. Oh, well, there's plenty of lava around. It's going to hop back out again. You see, we're going to be pulling out the lava with this hose pulley. And a hose pulley considers any area that's over 10,000 blocks worth of fluid, i.e. lava, infinite. Which means it'll never run out. Okay, first things first, we actually need to make this portal line up, well, in the correct position. Which is not actually very far off. Although it's not in an ideal position for a little train to be coming out. So let's get rid of this. Oh, jeez. Of course it's a basalt delta. But this is plenty of lava, I think. Ah, oh. So let's get a few blocks in before we burn to death and get killed by everything. Try not to get attacked by those things. What are they firing at me? Stop it. Oh, there's another one. Jeez, they're everywhere. Stop it. <coughs> oh, I'm in the lava. This is not ideal. And I'm using cobblestone only because it's blast resistant and things in the nether like blasting you. Chew, clear off. Oh, one magma cubes. No, go away. No, no, no. There's no room at the inn. <coughs> oh, ow. Stop it. Leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> hello. Chew. And there we go. We've got an nether portal big enough for a train, although they don't actually need to be as big as the train coming through. Trains can actually come through a very small nether portal, but I wanted one big enough anyway. I didn't bring any track with me. That's good. Let's make sure it links up. It does. Excellent. Right, let's get some track. And we're actually using narrow gauge rail here because, well, it's a bit smaller and it just means that the train can turn a bit sharper and I just thought it was more suitable for this build. Here we go. It's already got the track coming out of here and that can just go all over the place. <laughs> No, just into that wall there for now. We need to make some sort of pumping system somewhere. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Come on, I... <gasps> what are you? Stop it. Stop it. <gasps> Another one. Go away. Leave me alone. Stop it. Maybe I should go make a bow. String, sticks, bow. Lovely. You guys don't stand a chance now. Or maybe you do. Ah. Oh, dear. Ah. Stop it. Where do you keep coming from? Oh, my goodness. What is that? I don't like whatever it is. Whoa. Wow, you can jump a long way. Ah, stop it. Oh, I got him. Ah, there's another one. Stop it. Another one? Where, where did he keep coming? Stop it. I'm trying to build here. This is very irritating. Clear off. There's another one of these now. Oh, this is a nightmare. Go away. Leave me alone. Shoo, 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 shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. Get off me platform. Clear off. <laughs> You're relentless. Why are there so many of you? 
Whoa! Stop it! Oh. oh yes, go to the nether and put the detail in and make everything look nice. Why couldn't I just leave it being horrible and rubbish? Stop it! We need a way of spawn proofing this area. Go away! It's not big enough. The room's not big enough. No, go away! Please tell me this is big enough now. For a corner, oh, just about. Ah, stop it. Leave me alone. Go away! Stop jumping over my arrows. I really enjoy building in the nether, guys. My favorite place to build. Every time I come in here, this entire place is filled with magma cubes, which means... Hey, one moment, please. Your call is important to us. It means that I've totally wasted my time putting all of this basalting on the floor because I might as well have used cobblestone because I'm now going to have to put these floorboards over the whole floor to stop anything spawning in here and then go around and retexture those, which is going to cost me twice as much basalt. Oh, now a gas? A gas? Really? I can't have just a minute's peace? Here we go. That's the entire floor covered in floorboards. Nothing. It, ah! <laughs> Nothing spawning here, I was going to say. Well, stop it! I'm trying to talk. There we go. We've now got a full floor's worth of floorboards all the way in here and all the way down there, which means we need walls and a ceiling. And as you can see, now that things have calmed down a little bit, although they're not completely calm, I have put in a roof shape. For the outside of the roof, I'm finally using a bunch of this flint that we've been gathering forever in order to texture these frame blocks. And I have put a few windows in. The thing is, I wasn't actually planning on building anything in the nether. I was planning on the track just coming down to a tiny little platform with a pump on it that was going to pump lava. But then I just decided while I was doing this video that I was going to build a big old building in here to prevent, well, you know, mob problems and things like that. And I didn't really have any plan for how it was going to go. And I think that kind of shows in the decoration, really. <laughs> but there we go. Anyway, I think it's time to put all of this junk away and start figuring out how we're going to get lava from that lava lake out there next to that leviathan into these tanks here and then into a train. So I guess the first thing we need to do is create our little filling station, which is basically just girders with a fluid tank on it like we've got in the overworld. Then I think in the middle here, we should have a big old lava tank. Then we need a pump coming out of that and then connect that to that pipe and then we'll be able to suck the lava out of that tank into this fluid thing and the train will be able to pick it up but this pump's gonna need power and we can't use steam and we can't use water wheels because we're in the nether although just as a little experiment i wonder if water wheels do they do hmm we go that kind of works and if we put the pump there instead then all we've got to do is bring that down there and stick a cog on it there we go i've changed my mind we're actually gonna have the lava on this water wheel here next to our nice friendly leviathan and it's gonna come all the way up from up here oh i can't reach pop our lava on ah Oh, hello. <laughs> Good morning. No, it's on my roof. Get rid of that block there. And there we go. Our lava wheel is turning lovely. All I've got to do is attach this end here. It's on full speed at the moment. I don't think that's going to last. So let's put that up to there. Wow, it's going at full speed. So we're pumping lava out, but we're not yet pumping lava in. And that should be pretty simple. We are going to need another pump, which is also going to need to be powered, which we can do by stealing a bit of power from there and then overstressing the system. I thought so. Let's just take it down a little bit. There we go. And that pump is just going to be attached to this hose pulley over a hole in the floor. And hopefully that's going to consider the lava below as infinite. There we go. Foxy Notel has reached the goal, tapping the mantle. And there we go. We're filling up with lava. Amazing. But all we're going to need now in here is another station. And I guess we should call this lava uh, land. <laughs> Names in the comments, please. <laughs> and now all we need is a train. Ah. Ah. Um. What is it? What? Now, mosquitoes. Jeez, just trying to build the train, guys. Guys, I've messed up. I've built the train. And you might be thinking, well, this is a weird looking train, Foxy Hotel. That looks nothing like a train. Doesn't look anything like a train at all. In fact, it just looks like some weird thing. And it does. This is my nether bullet. The idea here, it's a bulletproof, bombproof, blastproof, gasproof nether train that's lava proof. And the underside of it's all charred from being in the lava. The top of it's all hardened and protective. And it's got room to store quite a decent amount of lava in there. But that's not where I've messed up. It actually works very well. It's a lot bigger than I want it to be, but it turns out it's actually quite quite difficult making small little trains but you can drive it and it picks up the lava and I can take it in and out of the nether as I need to it actually works very well it goes through the nether portal perfectly and it pops out the other side and if you actually park it at the station properly it does actually empty all of the lava out quite quickly into our amazing lava tanks in here so what's the problem well the problem is it was never supposed to exist in the overworld it was never supposed to be seen in the overworld which is why I was able to make it look like something that was only ever supposed 
almost be in the nether. Because don't forget earlier in the video, I said that this train was going to be coming in underground and filling the lava into here from below the surface. That was always my plan. But somewhere along the lines of making this video, I totally forgot what this train track was actually supposed to be for and made it part of the nether system. This pump here was never supposed to take the lava out of the train and put it into there. It was supposed to take the lava out of there and put it into the train. A different train. A train that would go off somewhere else into a power station, which would use all of that lava to create power. But I've gone and messed it all up made a big old boo-boo and now we've got this train and this pigment apparently where i don't want it which means i need to undo this nether portal dig a big hole underneath the hot springs relink the nether portal and have the train going on a completely different track And there we go. We have now got a portal in underground, just a few blocks below where the other one was. The train station set up, a lava removal system, which also pumps that lava up into our lava tanks. It's all good. Now we just need to see if it all works. And for that, we're going to need a driver. There we go. We've got a conductor. And with this lead, I should be able to put you on that seat just like that. Give him a schedule that takes him to the hot springs underground, which is here to empty out all of the lava. Then go to lava land and fill up all of the lava. Off you go, bud. It's working. He's going in. He's fast. Jeez, straight into the nether. Now, I don't have a chunk loader in here, which means this isn't going to run very often unless I've got someone loading the nether and I just happen to have chuck over here, which is very convenient. What's not overly convenient is how slow this thing actually fills with lava. But we're on max speed, unless I add more lava wheels, and I don't fancy doing that right now. The last lava is going in, and it should set off. There we go, straight away. And straight down this tunnel, back through the nether portal, and into here to unload. And look how fast it unloads. It's a lot faster than how fast it loads. And that's filling up this tank here, which hopefully is then sending this lava through these pipes into that tank. But it's, the, the pipe's slightly too long. Oh, geez. I need to move the pump. No problem. We shall just put the pump in there instead and just add a cog in there. There we go. That should be pumping the lava now all the way through there, all the way up to there. Just top up my little ladder. And here it is coming into the lava tanks nice and quickly. Oh, this is brilliant. Apart from all of that steam gathering up there, that's not brilliant. Oh, and he's back already. Jeez, he doesn't mess about, does he? Then he's going again already. Jeez, this is the speediest lava delivery system I've ever seen. The next job is to add the world's smallest windmill on the back of that fan so that it looks nice and spinny from the outside, which I think works well. How much can I disguise it? Oh, I can put blocks inside of the windmill. That's very useful. There we go. That's nicely hidden now. And the last job is just to add a chimney in here. How hard could it be? And the answer is quite difficult because this steam comes up at all sorts of funny angles, but most of it is now going out of that chimney. And it's an absolutely ginormous chimney, which doesn't really fit the build all that well, but it's doing its job. And we got a full tank of lava there, and we've got a full tank of lava there, but these ones don't have any in. For some reason, we're not getting pumped into these ones. And I'm not 100% sure why. Perhaps once this is full as well, those will start filling up. And now the train has been stopped a little while, which means this must be full, which means it can't fully empty which means it can't go anywhere so hopefully that means that these tanks in here are all full oh the middle ones have still got nothing in <coughs> one hour to get this video rendered uploaded and ready for you guys i wasn't supposed to build anything in the nether i wasn't supposed to make a fancy train i wasn't supposed to do any of this it just took so long smash holes in it all as usual we'll just pump directly from that one into that one and then directly from that one into that one and then directly from that one into that one and there we go all connected now the train is gone which means it is using this lava now good and yes in here these tanks are filling up i just need to fix the floor done. 